Welcome, Northern Soul is back and today we're going to be talking about kinesiology taping for anterior tibialis tendinopathy or uh, anterior, um, anterior compartment syndrome. So that's, that's the focus of today. So uh, tibialis anterior um, is the culprit muscle in the front of the shin. Uh, so if you're suffering from short, uh, sore front shin muscles, this is a taping you should try. It can also be combined with, um, it can be combined with the posterior um, tibialis uh, taping that I just did prior. Uh, you can find that on the Northern Soul channel, uh, otherwise known as shin splints. Uh, so let's get to it. Oh God, what are you doing to me? It's called kinesio taping. <laughs> Because Northern Soul. Welcome back. Let's get uh, started with the taping. So I'm going to show you uh, a, one of the tapings, and then I'm going to show you variation as well, and I'll explain that. So we're going to get started. So the first tape is we're going to tape from the bottom. I'm going to just grab this light blue, and we'll get started. Uh, part of the taping for measuring will be tape uh, measuring from the bottom of the foot across to just in front of the ankle over to where tibialis anterior actually is and since I'm end of roll here I think we got just enough tape so across and it'll just start to shift over to where uh, the knee is so across the the knee uh, joint uh, on the outside so the, the lateral aspect and then we'll stop there with a zero stretch so since I'm going to be using the end of this roll what's left of it and it's going to be there's going to be considerable stretch on most of this tape, so we want to back it off a bit. So this is obviously too much. So I'm just going to cut that off. And so I made it just a touch shorter. That might be a bit too long too, but whatever. We're going to work with it. Okay, so I'm just going to round off the ends. These are all uh, eye tapes that we're doing today. So there's going to be um, three tapes for a regular, and then there's going to be an additional or uh, an alternative version if you have um, hypermobile knees and pain in the knee. Um, usually, I'll, I'll get into that for the when we get to that taping. All right, let's get started. So, first thing you want to do is put your leg in a 90 degree. Uh, so, if you're on a stool, you'll move your foot forward until it's uh, flat on the on the stool or whatnot. But I'm just going to eyeball it from a seated position on the ground and just make that a 90 degree angle. Now you're going to want to start from just ahead of the ankle. That's where the, the base area is going to be. So right about there. So I'm going to split the tape right about there and just bend back, crimp, bend back, crimp. So I don't have to touch the adhesive and I still have uh, paper backing to pull from. And so just ahead, because eventually this is going to be aimed on the opposite side over here. So I want to keep that in mind. So right about there, there's going to be no um, no stretch at this point. We're just kind of creating an anchor at that point, just there. Now we're going to peel off most of it and just on the end, so I have something to grab, and then we're going to do substantial stretch over into under just underneath the foot. So I'm just going to go like this on the side, still having the foot at 90 degree angle, pull. Uh, so substantial stretch, we're talking about 70%, across, under, and then 0% stretch on the end, and just going to rub it in to help with the adhesive, and create that heat from friction, and then it just adheres a little bit better. Uh, just remember, it takes about 10-15 minutes for it to get to almost maximum adhesion, and wait an hour before doing any sort of water sport or bathing or any of that stuff to do with water. It takes about an hour for it to set. Uh, okay, so now we're going to uh, talk about doing the all the way up into uh, tibialis anterior. We're just going to follow it up with substantial stretch. So we're trying to create some... Um, we're not trying to offload the muscle. We're trying to actually create some circulation here. So here we go. So I'm going to have uh, the foot in what is like 90 degree uh, angle uh, still. And then we're going to just pull up with stretch here, and we're going to follow along here. So we're talking about 50% is the 
is probably what you're going to be aiming at. Right along where the tib anterior is, and then we're going to we're going to have the knee as well at about 90 degrees. And I'm going to cross this joint. There's going to be a joint right across here for the knee. And you want to have 0% stretch once you reach that part. So I'm going to have zero stretch. I'm just going to pull off the end and just roll that as it is for 0%. I'm going to rub that all the way through. That's pulling on my hair. I can feel that. So we provided the stretch. That's what's going to uh, provide the wrinkle effect for it to lift uh, the skin and provide that space for circulation increase. Okay, so that's rubbed in. That's pretty good. Now, the next part is we're going to have uh, taping for the painful part. So if you have uh, tendinopathy of, of the, um, the tendon, obviously, of the uh, tibialis anterior, where there's inflammation uh, due to um, just repetitive motion, uh, wear and tear, that sort of thing. If you're a runner or play football, hockey, that sort of thing, you're going to, with all the, the repetitive motion, you, you might get one of these things. And that pain should be in the area around the ankle or just above the ankle, but on the, the front aspect of it. Actually, you can see right there, it's popping up. Okay. Anyways, you're going to find your painful point in that area, wherever the uh, tendon is. There it is. And we're going to pr present like a crisscross pattern on top of it. So right here, <clears throat> I'm going to go across, start at the bottom, and then come across to about above the ankle on the opposite side with considerable stretch. So I'm going to back that off a bit. I'm not going to cut the entire length because we're going to stretch it. Round off the ends. And I'm actually going to have two tapes, so I'm going to measure another one against it going the uh, absolute opposite way. So I'm just going to measure it compared to that one just to save time. So if you can put over top if you wish. I can see kind of underneath, so X-ray vision, yo. There we go. I know somebody, somebody's going to be tempted to say something. You could, why don't you put over top, man? Okay. You win. Fair game. All right, and once again, we're going to do across. So this is across the painful part. We're going to create an X with these two tapes here. So we're going to start with uh, just below. So just kind of under, you can, if you can see it right there. Hopefully you can see that. It's going to park that just under. And I want you always want the, if you can, get the tape to attach to skin, not to another tape or the same tape. And I'm going to do considerable stretch. Oops, trying to come off, but I'm going to stop that. There we go. Considerable stretch across the painful site. About 75% stretch. And then zero on the ends. Just gonna aim around the ankle. I was trying to get above here. That's where you're kind of going. Maybe this one's a bit too short, but whatever, we'll make do. So that's that one. You're getting a little bit of support right there. So uh, one of the features with uh, tibialis anterior is like um, extension of the knee, but also um, br uh, dorsiflexion of the foot, so bring your, your foot towards your nose. So we're going to do another crisscross pattern across the painful site as well. So if it's around here, it'll go across there. So just under the, the ankle on this side, no stretch. I'll have to shout, sorry, the uh, AC's on right now. This is not a super elaborate studio here. Okay, so we're going to do uh, Pretty considerable stretch, so 70% again. If you find that you're getting really itchy, I'm gonna aim like just over over top of the ankle. Just like that. And no stretch on the ends. So you're getting all this big crisscross pattern with stretch, no stretch on the, the base part here. The stretch is provided over specifically the uh, the tender area. So this should be kind of guided over. I don't have a that problem so I don't I'm guessing like okay it's here let's just say it's here but you will know and then you can guide the tape over top of where it needs to be so that's what that looks like from completion and then across there as you can see and you can move with that stretch without pulling so much and then aggravating so you can continue running or doing any of that now let's talk about an additional one 
oh, uh, by the way, yeah, I already, probably already mentioned this. You can combine this with uh, the posterior um, tibial uh, taping or uh, tibialis. So the shin splint, so that's the one that goes uh, across here. So you can com combine that with there, make it like, man, get every color imaginable in there. Have like a rainbow leg. So uh, for those of you suffering with also uh, internal rotation of the knees, when you rotate, so you put your foot down and then you're, you turn, you twist, and you have like a pain in the knee, then you, you can also add this to that, to this taping here as well, in addition to this. So this is how this looks like. So instead of this blue tape, you can do this one. I'm just gonna go over top. So you can see we're gonna use black. Actually, do we have dark blue? We do. Okay, so this will be in addition to the, the blue tape, the dark blue tape will mimic that. So a lot of women get this because they'll have like hypermobile um, knees because of the angle of the, um, the femur from having uh, childbearing hips. They have this aggressive angle and then sometimes their knees will get hypermobile over time or during activity, wear and tear. Uh, childbirth as well loosens up all the ligaments um, thanks to relaxin. Sounds like a great drug, but whatever. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's gonna be the same idea. Anchor, anchor here, pull across there. You're gonna follow the line along the uh, tibialis anterior. And then when we get to about here, you're gonna do zero stretch and you're gonna stuff it underneath like that. You're gonna go under it's bathing suit day over here. It's like I'm at the beach, but it's really crappy. Out. Anyways, uh, underneath and then over across the thigh, and then you're going to stop. So there's going to be no stretch behind the knee, but there's going to be considerable stretch everywhere else. So I'm just going to back that off a bit because of all the considerable stretch. But I want to have a little bit extra. I don't want to get too short because you can't add material. Okay, there we go. And it's an eye tape, so you just round off the ends. You can also uh, use it in conjunction with it. You can add like a second one, but really, you can just replace the light blue with the dark blue, as I'm going to show you. And this doesn't have to be just women. It can be a man. Anybody that's suffering from that internal rotation weakness of the, uh, the knee where you get that pain in the knee area. You can also combine it with the knee taping as well, the basic one for knee support. Now, a lot of the tapes you'll find are friendly with one another and you can combine it with a little bit of uh, forethought. Okay, so we're gonna do the attachment at the ankle, just in front of it, as we did prior, like that. No stretch. Then we're gonna stretch, excuse you tape. Then we're gonna stretch um, with considerable up into the foot. Foot is still at a 90 degree angle, just like that underneath no stretch on the ends rub that in you can see it's just overlap basically now we're going to do a considerable stretch so i'm just going to add that in there considerable stretch up you might want to follow it so we're about 70 percent follow along the tibialis anterior and then right at the end we're going to curve because we're going to go under so right at the joint you're going to curve you go zero percent stretch actually just just past Right there. Zero percent stretch, so we're just touching it along. So I'm gonna have my knee now just slightly bent, kind of like this at this point. So I'm just gonna aim it underneath, no stretch, curve it, so I'm gonna follow it underneath. Hopefully you can see that. This is <laughs> not how I'd normally do this. I would just reach under and do it. Okay, so that's that. So make sure I don't lose it. And then you come around the other side. Once you start to come emerge from the other side, we're gonna add substantial stretch. So we're talking 50 to 70% dependent on your, how your skin behaves with the stretch. If you get a rash or reaction, you want to back off the stretch during the next time. So I'm just gonna add slight bend once again, keep that. And it's just gonna go across the thigh like that. So you get the sort of spiral helix effect. Then on the ends, no stretch on the ends. Hopefully you can see that. Whoops, sorry. And then anchor. So I'm just gonna rub that in. You can add a second tape if you find that you need even more support for the knee area. And once again, can be combined with other tapes in the knee area. 
So, and then you can, of course, do the X on top of the painful spot. If you have this, if you have the compartment syndrome where the pain is in this area, you can also alternatively add more um, uh, surface area or like um, circulation increase into this area by adding another tape right across the most painful. So if you have a trigger point, you can put one right across. This is becoming like super elaborate. But I want to show you a complete, full, all options, DEFCOM 1 version of typing. So uh, I got, actually I do have trigger points in here. Let me find one. Right, okay. Ah, okay, right there. Okay, that's pretty tender for me. So for me, that would be a spot, crack in the middle, pull on ends. Sorry if I didn't blow people's eardrums out if they were on their uh, headphones. So add that full stretch back off to about 70, right across the area. No stretch on the ends, hopefully you can see that. Mm-hmm. Just like that, rub that in. And that's the super califragilistic expialidocious version of taping. I'd like to see how that translates in another language. So this is super duper ultra taping 4000 of um, anterior tibialis tending off the anterior compartment syndrome. Enjoy. Please like if you dig it. Um, man, all the tape I just sacrificed here and the hair that you will not see off camera that's going to be sacrificed. If you dig it, subscribe. I've got tons of other videos on, my, um, on the YouTube site, on the YouTube channel Northern Soul. Um, always your support's appreciated. Also comments. Uh, get her down at the bottom and I'll see if I can do some, if I can help you at all with a, a, another video or if I can answer the comments. Uh, if I have, if I can <laughs> practically do that, like if I have the time to do that. Um, so appreciate um, all your support, everybody that's been watching and supporting me over the last little while. Thanks so much. And I love uh, my subscribers. Uh, you <laughs> really make my day. So big thanks to everybody. Um, see you on the next video, Northern Soul. Peace!